those. Oh! There he goes! Worthy! Making a house call on a punt return! Xavier Worthy! With the 28th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, select Xavier Worthy! Xavier Worthy is the Kansas City Chiefs' new game record. In today's video, we're going to talk about Mr. 421 and what he brings to this Kansas City Chiefs offense and why I think this is such a big-time move for this football team to be making. Now, first thing I want to talk about is let's look at what the Kansas City Chiefs already have in structure. Patrick Mahomes at the quarterback, Isaiah Pacheco at the running back, Noah Gray. Justin Watson, Travis Kelsey, Rasheed Rice, Hollywood Brown. He came in as an offseason acquisition. So I'm already thinking about, okay, we have some pretty solid weapons to work with. What are we going to do? How can we maximize Patrick Mahomes and how can he elevate this talent that he has on the roster? I want to look at post Tyreek Hill for this Kansas City Chiefs team. And we can see this right here on film. Ever since Tyreek Hill left this Kansas City Chiefs team, they've been in lure and void of that true deep threat. I think that should add Hollywood Brown. That adds a little bit to that. Now you get a guy who can stretch the defense vertically. But when you add Mr. 421 Xavier Worthy, I think you're bringing in a different dynamic based on how I view him as a football player. So when we look at how teams are defending the Kansas City Chiefs, they're playing in those two high structures. Patrick Mahomes has evolved his game to an extent that there's no defense that he can't see. There's no defense that he can't fully read the field against. And I've talked about this before, but now we say, okay, we have our playmaker. That's Rasheed Rice. He's going to work underneath. He's the run after the catch guy. And he can also give you some routes and be a possession receiver. Now look at Travis Kelsey, Miss Match Nightmare. Safeties can't cover him. Linebackers can't cover him. Who can cover him at this point? But we have a guy like that who can shift the coverage. Now the defense has to say, okay, we have to cloud this way. We have to pull the safety this way because we can't leave him truly one-on-one. -on -one. So now you have that. Then you bring in Hollywood Brown. He can stretch a defense vertically. Think about what he does on the football field. And I think he's gotten better since he's left the Baltimore Ravens. I look at what he did last year in Arizona. He is consistently improving and his hands are better now. So I think about that and then Noah Gray getting that 12 personnel set they also brought in jared wiley out of tcu i like what they have but i haven't talked about the one guy yet mr four two one that's xavier worthy now i want to talk about xavier worthy a little bit and why i think this is such a big time pickup for this kansas city chiefs team because we could have easily said, okay, Adonai Mitchell, try to get Brian Thomas Jr., try to get Keon Coleman, try to get Lad McConkey, but they want to get Xavier Worthy, and I think this is saying, okay, you can't play that too high now. You can play it, but you can't be comfortable in it because we got two field stretchers. What are your safeties going to do right there? They're going to have to play deep, and what does this do? Open up the run game, and I dare you to play one high. If you play one high, now I can send Xavier Worthy on a post. Now I can send Hollywood Brown on a post. You're picking your poison when you're guarding this football team. Now, I want to talk about Xavier Worthy. Let's get a little bit specific with him, talk about what he brings to the football field. For me, when I watch Xavier Worthy, I see a separator. Some people are going to say, what is a separator and not a route runner? You have to be a route runner to separate. But when I say separator, think DJ Moore. I did a breakdown on DJ Moore's film last year, and I talked about how it's not always Chris. It's not always a pretty route, but he's going to separate with his physicality and his athleticism. For Xavier Worthy, he separates, and I feel that he's a separator, but it's a little different package and a little different flavor. He's going to use his speed. You have to respect his speed. He can threaten you with his speed, but he can also decelerate and stop on a dime. How many stop routes do we see right here on film? How many comebacks do we see right here on film? He's getting open because they have to respect it, but he could also decelerate stop on a dime that's what the great deep threats can do it's controlled speed when you're watching xavier worthy and also when he gets behind you i do like his hands and i like his ball tracking when you see the deep ball he's going to haul in a lot of times getting that pass over there from quinn ewers now i want to talk about okay how do we not want to use him? What is not the ideal situation for Xavier Worthy? I do think this is the ideal team for him, but I want to go to that game with Malik Murphy as the starting quarterback. Freshman for Texas last year, transferred now. And when I look at that, I'm saying... We put him in some situations. We had to be a contested catch guy. We had to go up and get the football, get out of his catch radius a little bit, and get out of his frame. Now, I'm thinking we understand what Xavier Worthy isn't, but we really understand what he is, and we can maximize that. 
we talk about getting off the press, understanding how to release off of the line of scrimmage. And I think when I look at Xavier Worthy releasing off the line of scrimmage, what we saw corners do sometimes was you have to get physical immediately, but you can't miss. If you try to jam Xavier Worthy and you miss, safety's in a bind. We're playing the fight song if we're the Texas Longhorns. It's that type of situation. So when we talk about the NFL and how can his game translate, we're going to see corners try to get physical with him. But now it's a situation of can we get a defensive pass interference can we draw some flags in that situation or are they going to let them play football i think xavier worthy just coming out of the gate we saw him draw some dpis in texas now we're going to see him draw some dpis for the kansas city chiefs because it's that long speed of understanding i gotta grab a little bit i gotta tug and pull a little bit here so it's that type of thing and when I talk about yards after the catch, what does Xavier Worthy bring you in that aspect? I think he can be a dynamic athlete and a dynamic playmaker after the catch. Now, like I said, it's just a different flavor. 5'11", 165. But what we see on film sometimes at Texas is if he breaks a tackle, now he's outrunning angles. Now we're playing the fight song for the Texas Longhorns. You have to tackle this guy. He is one of those guys where we say, okay, if he gets this bubble screen, I want my corners, I want my linebackers, I want my defensive ends. We have to get him at the point of attack and stop him from getting outside of our leverage because he can go. And once he goes, as you see on film, it's pretty hard to catch him. So I really, really like what he brings to this Kansas City Chiefs football team. I think this is a home run fit. And I was really wondering, because after he ran that 4-2-1, we were looking at some other receivers above Xavier Worthy. But I didn't want to say, okay, just because he ran the 4-2-1, let's put him in a situation where it's not ideal. And we ask him to do some things that he isn't the best at just yet. Of course, he can develop in a lot of aspects. But when I think about, okay, consistently going against press, what the Kansas City Chiefs are going to do is they're going to get him on the move. They're going to use him in motion. Like I said, he can also be somewhat a manufactured touch guy, but it's depending on the kind of touches that you want to get him. Like I go back to that BYU game and we see Malik Murphy, he's throwing them bubble screens. He's getting the football quick he's getting the football out quick just because he's a playmaker and the dynamic speed brings something to your offense i want to know what you guys think about this move i really really like this for the kansas city chiefs i think he brings something that they've been longing for a long time i don't want to make the tyreek hill comparison but when i look at a guy like xavier worthy i think i see some parallels and kind of the type of player that they were early the speed is dynamic. We throw around the word generational. I don't want to do that, but he has the fastest 40 time ever for any player at the combine. So there's that. And then we talk about what he brings you on the football field. Very, very good player. I'm interested to see what you guys think down below. I'm putting my stamp on Xavier Worthy, and I think this is the Kansas City Chiefs brand new game record. Thank you for watching. As always, we'll be back in the film room.